In any software development cycle, it is best practice to catch issues as early as possible since it both improves security and decreases the workload for both developers and security. In order to do this, CrowdStrike offers solutions for developers at build time that allow them to assess their Docker container images and review summarized report data integrated with their favorite CI-CD tools like Jenkins. CrowdStrike Security for Jenkins is a plugin that uses image assessment to find vulnerabilities in container images early in the development process and then blocks them as per predefined policies within the CrowdStrike Falcon platform. In this solution, the AWS code commit repo first clones all the Docker files from GitHub. AWS Cloud9 IDE is used to look at the code and make any changes. Jenkins compiles the code but also scans it for any vulnerabilities. If the code is vulnerable, Jenkins sends the scan report to CrowdStrike. If there are no vulnerabilities, the Docker file is published to ECR for application deployment. Moving over to the demo, the first step is to install the CrowdStrike security for Jenkins plugin. So we go to Jenkins, we choose the CrowdStrike plugin and we deploy it. The code commit repo has already been cloned to Cloud9 IDE. The initial and enforced Jenkins pipeline are groovy files that set the variables and stages in the Jenkins pipeline. Once we have the code in Cloud9, we can create the pipelines in Jenkins. The code for the initial Jenkins pipeline clones the code commit repo, builds the Docker image, and scans the image using the CrowdStrike plugin. Copy the code from Cloud9 to Jenkins and save it. Create another pipeline, but this time for enforce Jenkins pipeline. The enforce Jenkins pipeline script clones the code commit repo, builds the Docker image, scans the image using the CrowdStrike plugin, and pushes the image to ECR. Copy the code from Cloud9. Paste it to Jenkins, save it, and you have the enforced pipeline also ready. Next, you will create image assessment policies to prevent vulnerable images from being deployed. Once you create the policy, you add two rules. The first is an alert rule for low and medium severity detections, and the second is a prevent rule for critical and high severity detections. After that, you enable the policy once the policy is enabled, you can run the build. You can see the cloning of the code commit repo, building of the Docker image, and scanning of the image with CrowdStrike security plugin. Once the scanning is done, going inside the results and looking at the report, you can see that Falcon has prevented the build. There are 22 vulnerabilities. Once you click on that, you can see 11 high and 11 medium vulnerabilities. And once you click on that, you can see all the vulnerabilities. This information will be sent to the Falcon UI and going under image assessment, you can see all the 22 vulnerabilities. At this point, we are ready to run the enforced Jenkins pipeline. However, first we will change the current Docker file to use the latest Python based image instead of a version with vulnerabilities. For this, we will review and make changes to the Docker file in Cloud9. Next, we will run the enforced Jenkins pipeline against the updated base image. Jenkins builds the Docker image, scans it using CrowdStrike, and then looking at the results, we can see that CrowdStrike has allowed the build and there are zero vulnerabilities. This will push the image to ECR and it can be used for application deployment. With the CrowdStrike and Jenkins integration, you can ensure that your workloads remain secure while DevOps works at speed without any performance hit.